Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can, so we have a requirement. This is suppose this is the purchase order screen and we have a requirement for a particular uh, particular doc types. We want to hide this whole button. Okay, how are we can do it? So for that, you can just go to this transaction. Okay, there is a baddie already created, but we will show you how you can go to the transaction. OLME. Okay, that's the place where you can go to customizing uh, for configuration. And here you can see baddies. And this is the baddie deactivate hold for purchase order. So we are going to implement this baddie. So if I go, so I have already implemented, but I will just show you how the baddies can be implemented. You have a ME baddie name. Here you have to just go and click create. Yeah, okay. I have already created and this is the display and here what I'm going to do is the requirement is I need to deactivate it for a particular doc type okay so let me see what is the particular doc type so this is standard which is standard peer which is NB and suppose we have stock transport order which is our framework order which is FO okay so you want to hide it for framework order okay suppose so how we can do that okay so i'll go here i'll go in change mode and this is the piece of code this this will this particular parameter will make everything hidden so now what we are going to do just going to go here go method definition and here you can see i have this parameter so i'll just go and i'll say this is the ekko if i am ekko be sart that is the thing doc type is equal to f o and we will just make it and if control f and just activate it now okay now this is activated now we can see that this was standard purchase order and now if you go to so let's first chase first show you if i don't act Okay, so I'll just just make this here, activate it here, and we'll see the from the before and after. That's how to test it, right? So we'll just do this. It's activated. Now, suppose here I have framework order, and we say okay, that's fine. We don't care. So here it's there. Now what we are going to do? We are going to activate this piece of code comment out and activate simple press enter there it is now what i'm going to do is i'll just see for nb purchase order start it's there so if you see this is giving an error for some other reason okay so but you can see the hold button is there now let's try to do the framework order Let's see whether the hold order, hold button is still there. Let's see what we can do. Probably we will just put a debug because it makes sense sometimes. Or probably I have to probably go away completely. That's why it's not getting refreshed. Yeah, probably that's the problem here. Yeah. So here if you see... Yeah, now it's showing. So since it was not getting refreshed, that's why. So if you see, do you want to save? No. And now what I'm going to do, ME21N. The, this thing is it's blank. Now it's standard. I have it hold. Now we click on framework and we will say changes allowed. Okay, the changes allowed should be blank here. That, that was the thing I made a mistake. So, so here what we can do is we'll just change it, make it blank and activate it. So what we can do since this is activated. We'll start from scratch ME21. 
21N probably. Okay. The debugger is on. And let's activate. Let's put the code now. Okay, here it is standard. Now I put framework order. Okay, you can see it will come, it will be blank, and voila, you can see the hold button is gone. So this is the way to implement. Uh, sorry about this. So to change allowed needs to be blank. Okay, so this way you can just uh, hide the hold button. This is very useful and it, it took like 10 minutes of work. Okay, that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.